Issy's name is first attested in the 5th dynasty in the pyramid texts. She was the wife of Osiris and the mother of Horus, and thus was symbolically mother to the pharaoh. In the late period, the popularity of this important goddess dramatically increased. She is nearly always depicted in anthropomorphic form, standing or seated on a throne. This statuette shows the goddess in her most beloved pose, nursing her son Horus, known also as the Lactans pose. Other goddesses sometimes nurse Horus or other child gods, but Isis is preeminent among them in this role. She wears the horned crown that by the late period she had adopted from the goddess Hathor, as well as the vulture headdress that emphasized the role of goddesses as royal mothers. On this figure, her jaw and neck are unusually rounded and the lips are very small in purse. This nude sensual female figure has the cartouches of Necho II on her upper arms. A small tightly fitted wig caps her head, and two holes with silver wires are located in the wig over her forehead. Their placement suits Aureus. She wears a finely wrought broad collar plus earrings, only one of which is preserved, bracelets and anklets. King's card touches are normally a sign of affiliation for male courtiers. It is strange to see them on a new female figure, and that she apparently also wore the Aureus. While nude female figurines have been for some time understood as requests for birth and rebirth based on text on a few, new evidence has expanded our understanding, relating examples found in temples to the efficacy of rituals and magical cures, and pointing to their identification with numerous goddesses. This magnificent figure might best be understood in relation to the important role of the god's wife of Ammon at Thebes. Images of gods were carried out of temples on festival days on processional bark shrines. Most often the image itself was concealed in a shrine, but sculpted heads at the prow and stern identified the god to the populace, royal statuaries surrounded and protected the god hidden in the shrine and other protective gods rode at the prow. This large female head was gilded and inlaid and originally wore the double crown of Ammon's consort, Mut, as well as the double Urius, that was a hallmark of queen-like goddesses. Judging from the arrangement of the long front locks of her wig, this sculpture would have appeared at the prow of Mutt's bark shrine. If it had been intended for the stern, the hair would have projected forward, allowing it to fit along the horizontal surface of the bark in front of the goddess head. The shrine-shaped sistrum sound box worn as a crown by this figure indicates that either the goddess Nehemet Oi, the consort of Thoth or Nebethet a manifestation of Hathor, is represented. The features of the goddess suggest a date to the end of the 26th dynasty or the 30th dynasty. As the kings of the 30th dynasty built important buildings, including a temple to the goddess Nehemet Ori at Hermopolis, the seat of the god Thoth, it is plausible this statue is Nehemet Oi. Issy's Aphrodite is a form of the great goddess Issy's that emphasizes the fertility aspects associated with Aphrodite. She was concerned with marriage and childbirth and following very ancient pharaonic prototypes, also with rebirth, elaborate accessories, including an exaggerated Kalathos, the crown of Egyptian Greco-Roman divinities, emblazoned with a tiny disc and horns of Issy's, heightened the effect of her nudity. Figures depicting this goddess are found in both domestic and funerary contexts. Popular already in the 3rd to 2nd centuries before Christ, they continue to be made in Roman times. Dating technology places this piece in the Roman period, probably about AD 150, and the long narrow face and rather dry expression do not contradict such a date.